Hello everybody, this is Pure American, and today we are going to be talking about 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. Hope you all are having a good day, and I hope this blesses you. So, let's go ahead and dig in. Therefore, when we could bear it no longer, we were willing to be left behind at Athens alone. And we sent Timothy, our brother and God's co-worker in the gospel of Christ, to establish and exhort you in your faith that no one be moved by these afflictions. For you yourselves know that we are destined for this. For when we were with you, we kept telling you beforehand that we were to suffer affliction, just as it has come to pass, and just as you know. For this reason, when I could bear it no longer, I sent to learn about your faith, for the fear that somehow the tempter had tempted you, and our labor would be in vain. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start breaking this down verse by verse. So we see that in uh, verses 1 through 2, Paul talks about not being able to bear <clears throat> being separated from those in Thessalonica. And it became painful for him, and uh, just as was said in the previous chapter, um, he viewed them as his spiritual children. And so he, he basically couldn't take it anymore, so he had uh, himself and Silas stay behind in Athens, and they sent Timothy um, to, the Thessal to those in Thessalonica, um, in his stead, and he'd done this many times and uh, would do this uh, more times in the future. Um, but Paul sent uh, Timothy to establish and exhort their faith. And um, this was common to Paul because his main concern was not on people's health, wealth, self-esteem, or how easy their life was, but rather his main concern was um, that they were spir spiritually mature believers. And um, he wanted them to basically have firm doctrine and to uh, live out the truths that he had taught them that came from Christ. And, uh, you know, today we find that too often uh, people are not concerned with these things. They're more concerned of the previous, the health, wealth, um, and people's self-esteem. Talk about that all the time. Rather than focusing on someone's actual spiritual well-being, we tend to focus on earthly things or physical things or things like that that really in the long run don't matter and um, yeah but rather we should focus on the spiritual well-being of others and making them mature followers of Christ in the spiritual realm and not necessarily focusing so much on well health wealth stuff like that and then uh, verses 3 through 4 uh, Paul talks about being destined as he says to suffer affliction now, Paul made sure to mention this uh, to these believers so that they knew when they saw how Paul was persecuted and how much he suffered under the hands of others and stuff that uh, they didn't come under the delusion that somehow Paul um, had failed or also that God's plan wasn't working for Paul or God had failed Paul in any sense. And um, Paul knew from the beginning that he would suffer for Christ's sake. And yet he still chose to serve him anyway. So that's kind of an example to all of us and basically begs the question, um, are we willing to serve Christ uh, despite the cost it takes? Now here in America, we've got things pretty made, but um, we can see it on the horizon a little bit. So basically the question is, are you willing or are you not? And then uh, last verse, verse five, um, Paul echoes concerns of their spiritual health in this verse again and basically summing up why he sent Timothy in his place and he wanted to make sure that Satan didn't somehow tempt them away from the faith um, that Paul had worked towards in them and Jesus echoes this in the parable of the sower and the seeds in Matthew 13 1 through 23 Paul was afraid that the seed that was given to them meaning the gospel may have been choked out fallen on hard soil or started to grow but withered away and Paul was truly concerned about their spiritual well-being, and we should be as well for those who claim to be in the faith. And some some act like this is a foreign concept, like, well, they they said they're saved, so they 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 must be. Well, that's not always the case. There are false converts. Um, Jesus Jesus talked about this many times, and um, some are fake, and they will be separated out in the end, as Jesus also says. Boy, he gives a parable of fishers fishermen they sit there and they get good fish and they separate them from the good and the bad the harvest saying separating the wheat from the tares from the weeds basically so the church should be doing this and we should be checking on the genuineness of people's faith because 
we see um, we see this all through the scriptures. There are example. All did this, and uh, John calls us to that to even check ourselves. John calls us to check ourselves. So we cannot take stuff simply off of word alone. We do need to. Now, people don't like this term, but we do need to judge other other people who claim to be Christians in the sense of judging their fruit. Jesus even says that. He says, you will know them by their fruit. Um, so, and we should take this seriously also because in the end, this is someone's spiritual well-being at hand. We shouldn't seek to, well, we might offend them. Well, I would much rather be offended than burn in hell. So, we need to... I take this seriously as Christians and need to say, all right, this this person claims to follow Christ, but they, they are not living it. So we need to take that more seriously. And um, when you do it, obviously with grace, but we do need to check other people and see their genuineness. So I hope that was encouraging to you guys. Uh, it definitely helped me out. You may not have liked hearing that, but you know what? This is the word of God. And sometimes we don't like it, but we're called to follow it and um, and love it. So if you don't like it, you need to change your attitude. So, all right. Hope that was a blessing to you guys. I'll link my email, any prayer requests, anything like that. Please let me know. Feel free or suggestions and comments. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Again, I appreciate all the support and hopefully we continue to grow. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, we are back here in Resident Evil 2. Going to pick up where we left off. And... Oh, yeah. I got to go through this cutscene again. Let me get my caffeine in me. All right. Get all this crap out of the way. Let's go. Oh, I thought that was a Zambi. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? Stop grunting. The pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. Uh, it turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. What a lame response. That explains all the horrible things I've seen. Like, Leon, you're lame. And that's why I'm looking for Annette Birkin. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. What just happened there? She's the one who's supposed to... I'm going to bring her down. <sighs> Wouldn't it be this funny if she just got Based killed like right said, away? The sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. Yeah, thank <clears throat> you. Let me ask him a slip. Oh. <sighs> Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrellas control Raccoon City. Welcome to Corporate America. Jesus. Oh, shoot. That earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. That doesn't sound like it. <sighs> Nothing hiding over here. Oh. Ha ha. That's why you check. What the hell? Stay shut. The guard only knows what's down here. I wanted to go get a better look. Okay. So where do I go then? 
Huh? Tell me. Lady? You're the one who's gonna lead us. It's so dark in here, you can't see nothing. There's a opening there. Like, really? I guess I'll save, even though we haven't gotten very far. It sucked to die, though, and have to go all the way back. Now, wouldn't it, everybody? And I have no healing items. That's always great. <sighs> Ooh, let's... Combine with... What? I can come. Seems a little. Okay. <laughs> Looks a little stupid, but whatever. <laughs> uh... Oh, I didn't see the. Come back at me, bro. Go, you big nasty thing. Oh, I thought she was gonna leave me. I was like, well, thanks. Wouldn't surprise me to get betrayed in this game. And it turns out she's actually the person. See, yeah, I have never played these games, so I'm kind of upset with myself because I've really missed out then because like Resident Evil 7 I watched again it's not too late to turn back Leon I no chance you're stuck with me to the end um I'd be like uh yeah this is probably above me I would not have the hero Ugh. complex about me Ugh. you sure this is the right way Unfortunately. Oh no. Wait there. No. Come down and help me. What was I supposed to do? I ran. <laughs> I had no chance there. Yeah, my health is already like crap. Ugh. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. I skipped this. Wait there. I don't want to have to do all the editing of editing this out. Leon! Get out of there! That's a big old gator. I tell you what. Huh? What am I supposed to do? I'm not understanding this. Holy crap. I'm running. Ugh. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. No, you get in here and you help me kill this thing. I'll throw a grenade in its mouth. I've got one. Leon! Get out of there! How? 
How do you be? I'm sprinting. I'm. No. Don't, don't patronize me. I will get it. This is starting to get a little Ugh. frustrating, though, because sure this is the right way. I don't. Unfortunately, have all the time in the world to play this game, especially in the morning. So, right there. thump, thump, thump. Is there something I'm missing here? I mean, I am running. How do I get past the daggone uh. gator? Ugh. Man, I have to Are Google you this. Sure, this is the right way. Unfortunately. Wait there. Man, this is the hardest thing I've done so far. And this is probably one of the supposed to be one of the easiest things. Leon! Get out of there! That was the plan. That's probably not gonna happen. Probably gonna die. Okay, I really have no clue, game. I have no clue. Am I really gonna have to Google this? Like, what in the world? How to escape the gator in Resident Evil 2. My goodness. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm watching a video on it. You guys can't see it, and you're not going to. Leon, get out of there. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Are you kidding me? It's that simple? That is absolutely retarded. All right, guys, I'm I'm kind of mad about how dumb this is, but all right. <sighs> okay. I've wasted so much time on this sure part. This is the right way. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Watch this. Wait there. This thing isn't so scary as it is Leon, just annoying. Get out of there! Yeah. All right, that's the plan. All right, watch. Get all the way over. Yeah, and then Holy switch shit. sides. And then runs 
straight. And yep, they shot that. He blows up. Chew on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. <laughs> Chew on that. I tell you what, boy. Chew on that. All right, that was absolutely stupid. Are you kidding? There was this way the Leon, whole time. Liam. What the hell was? Just get up here. <laughs> oh, that was one big gator, I tell you what. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. You've seen dogs already, dude. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. You said people. Yeah, I've seen dogs and fought off a ton of freaking demon dogs. Stop moaning and groaning. So let me get this straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? I have better. Else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. As scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. You know that governments are probably working on stuff like this. I mean, I hate to say it, I love. I, I love America. Obviously, I am a pure American. But, you know they are working on messed up stuff like this. Another save point. I have to start saving over. But there's no... Yeah, you better follow me. You're not ditching me. Scene. Identify yourself. Annette Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G virus. Huh. That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Stop! Stop. Ada! Ah. Ah. Didn't expect that from a scientist. Oh yeah? Uh, Watch this! <laughs> Forget about me. <laughs> Just go. Stop her before she gets away. Oh, oh so what I'm gonna play is her. <sighs> oh yeah. I'm right outside the facility. In pursuit of a net. If it's not on her, it must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for extraction. They're trying to make it look busty. You can run, Annette. Like, but you can't hide. Oh. Yeah, she is so. Ever say. B A. Not the words themselves. I am. This is a Christian channel. I was just saying. That work? Yeah. That's all the ammo I have? This sucks. Hey, Broski. Broski. Oh. Where you at? Leon. Hey, Leo, my boy. What the heck? He, like, disappeared. Did I drag him back into that room? Oh, man. Nine shots. All I freaking get, though? Visual. Use the EMF visualizer to track wiring and hack electrical electronic equipment. Aim while holding and hack. All right. 
Why do I need to put it in my inventory if I already have it in the inventory? Heck. Give me that. I don't think that was what I wanted. So, hack that. I'm gonna make it explode. His hand becomes out. I should have kept it to. Oh, there it is. Candy from a baby. Great line. That must. Use EMF. Is that what it said? EMF? Get out of here, you nasty bugs. And then these have the virus. Sure, I'm a good distance away. Kabloom. Kabloomy. Oh, dang it. September inspection. Week one. I already put in a request last week, but we absolutely must have a replacement ID wristband ASAP. We need, once again. We need one to gain access to certain areas of the main facility. In other words, me and my crew can't get to the places we need to in order to do our job right now. So I don't want to hear anyone accusing us of slacking off. Oh. Okay, so I'm obviously gonna need an ID wrist there. Oh, what? Well, with this pistol, and if I can't get out, let me guess, I gotta kill him. I've only got so many friggin' shots. Oh, are you joking? Like, come on. Now I got nothing. I can't kill him. I cannot kill him. You've got to be kidding. What do I do? I can't get out. It won't let me open it. Oh, are you kidding? I have to hack. That. I'm gonna have to die. Got no. Thanks for the 12 shots, but holy crap. That was. I just have to avoid combat. At all costs, basically. Oh, 
Man! This is... Alright, I don't want the game to be easy. I don't want it to be so difficult to where it's like... Oh, come on. This same guy. Just get away. Fall down. Oh. Okay. Nobody pop out. Oh. Wait! How do I get to it? Word, there's so many of them. All right, I'm getting a tad bit frustrated and I just need to probably die because guess what I don't have the ammo and he's gonna grab me and I'm just gonna die anyway and I can't see literally anything cuz guess what she's a dummy and doesn't have a flashlight on her and I can't follow that so I don't know where to go, game. I can't see. Everything is dark. Okay. I'm done. Yep, she killed me. He killed me. I can't see literally anything. I'm all for a good game, but holy crap, when you make it so dang hard.
No, I don't want aim assist. I don't want you to pity me. I know I've been dying a lot, okay? Never played! This game. Are these types of games? Alright, yep, I get it. Can't I skip these cutscenes? Yep, I know, I know. It's secret I know. weapon time. Secret weapon time. Wow. Candy from a baby. Yeah. What a great line. I can't see literally anything. All right, I gotta turn off the brightness. There's no way. So nothing for brightness? Display? There. I was doing it until that. Oh, I mean, that may be a little too bright, but... For now, it'll do, because I'm not... I'm tired of not being able to see anything. <sighs> see, the last time, I know I killed that dude. Combine, yep. Give me that. Everybody, get out of my way, right now. Oh, 
Oh my word, there's so many of you. Everybody. Out. Of. My. Way. Just die! I don't care about the crawly. Man. What? 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 No, you were not there. Neither of you were. Stop spawning in zombies, game. Now that is super frustrating. The fact that it's spawning them in. I killed them. I know for a fact, like you. How many headshots does it take to kill a daggone zombie? Okay, seemed like the game almost crashed there. Like, I am enjoying you, game, but do not test my patience. Got you now. That's what you think. Like she couldn't hear oh, those. Good at running yet. I'll give you that. Persistent bastard, aren't you? Oh, heck it! What am I supposed to do? What? You got So now what do I do? Huh? I can't hack it. It won't let me. So do I just give up and die? You I'm not for a game being easy, but I'm also not for a game being so hard, and that made no sense at that point. So, what am I supposed to do here then? Am I really, before I even head up there, supposed to... Like, I couldn't go anywhere. Unless I'm dumb and didn't see it, which is very possible. Got you now. 
Always been good at running, Annette. Give me that. So that side. Yeah, I hear you, and you're all getting on my last nerve. Just fall. So, I can't do that. And it goes over to here. Goes up. Over. Wow, game. You make absolutely no sense. How... Says it's green. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna spend so much time wasted on this. Stop moving. Let's see a little rustling around. There's gotta be something I'm missing. There's got to be some way when I'm up there to get to something because I can't even flip that stupid switch to run. It won't work. Stop moving. I'm going to have Mr. X chasing me and then... Yep, I'm just an idiot. Can I shut that? You're kidding. Take that. Just... 
Okay. Again, very frustrating game. You're getting on my nerves. Just a tad bit. Because it's not like I can... Avoid him. Yep, he's gonna kill me. Yeah, that's all it takes was one punch. <sighs> now that I know what I'm doing. Always been good at running, Annette. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yep, I see you. You're not very clever. Bastard, aren't you? <laughs> Come on. See what that save does. Leon still? Oh. Okay. I have no power there. Alright, throw me a bone here, game. Give me something to heal with. How many of those? <laughs> He's going to show back up, though. I already know it. Actually, too, with the new wristband that's just arrived, we finally begin our survey of the demolition area. As the report from the other day about the incinerator, it's nothing really, probably just a large piece of leftover trash. I'll go take a look myself. I wrap up this report. All right, all right. Don't you move. Ah, uh, woman. Bravo. Gonna burn me alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. And you won't die alone. How do I get out? Okay, follow that. 
than that one. What? Oh, it's a puzzle and I'm gonna die! There we go. I'm burned alive. Yep. These puzzles on the spot, I'm not good with. No, I don't want your help. <sighs> yeah, I'll pick it up. All right. Need the wristband. Oh, I did, never did the power? Uh, limp, limp, limp. An eye on the time. About a half hour more I can record. Oh, probably. Can I cheat? No, I can't cheat yet. Bravo. Gonna burn me alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. And you won't die alone. Okay, run that. So that goes to there. And that's running there. So. Need to have that. Go over here. Have that over there, and so that go there. What well, I'm not understanding how I'm supposed to get it to run to all of these. What? This makes no sense! Yeah, this makes no sense. Whatever. You don't give me enough time! Oh. I'm supposed to... Well, if there's any explanation. Don't even patronize me by asking about this. See, that's what I hate sometimes about these types of games is the puzzles. You gotta sit there and you gotta die in order to figure out what you're really supposed to do. So you gotta die, repeat, die, repeat. But I realized, oh, I finally found the thing. And then this side, oh, you've gotta sit there and hack each one as it goes to it. Oh, oh my. I thought you had to line them all up and turn them all yellow to turn them each on and then somehow the door would open. I'm so stupid! Okay, can bravo. I skip this? Yeah, bravo. I'm gonna burn you alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. On the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. And you won't die alone. Okay. Yeah.
so easy now that you do it that way. That bitch knows what she's doing. But so do I. Strong, independent women. Unite! Yep. Visitor clearance confirmed. Your ID is authorized until October 1st. Please return before this date. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if I'm ready to go into an open area like that. I need to find some healing, dang it. I'm tired of hearing her grimace as I walk. Okay, nothing to hack. And just a dead end. Like, what was the point in the facility of that hallway? Unless she's got more secret doorways, which is very possible. Alright. Where I was before. No, I have not been here yet. I need some herbs. Oh. Enough with this cat and mouse game. The game is over. You lost. Tell me, is your husband still alive? Or did you kill him so you could take credit for G? Interesting theory. You don't cooperate? I'll get a sample from the nest. Over my dead body. What was moving down there? Was that stuff falling? Where's Leon when I need him? Let me guess, I'm gonna go to Leon. Data. Nah, he's bad on health too, unless they give me full health. Ada? Dang it. Ada, where are you? Do I really have to... Why can't I do that before? Okay. Wait. Never mind. That wasn't a shortcut. Well, this kind of sucks a little bit. Well, I can't go up there. Well then, what in the world am I supposed to do here? 
If I can't... If that's locked... And I can't climb up the daggone ladder... Am I supposed to go back there? I mean, that doesn't make any sense, so why would I backtrack? <clears throat> Thanks, buddy. I need something for that. Probably put that shotgun part up. Here's Ambi. Is that you? Give me your gear. I see you. Old man. Old man zombie. They just all need to die already. Yes, give me the knife. Is that? Nasty. There's a lot of poop. What was that, son? Thank goodness for nades. 
Uh, good thing I picked them up at that gun store, I tell you what. I never leave the house and my trust a handy dandy grenade. This is America. Interesting. Ooh. Uh, yes, please. Oh, uh, it's only two. Uh, four. Where'd she go? I don't know. Laptop? Copy emails, umbrella, HQ, Director Owens. There are alarms going off all over, all over Nest. I don't know what's going on, but I can hear gunfire, and I can't reach my section chief. We're trapped. Please send help ASAP. Director Owens, situation here is dire. Ness has been contaminated with the virus. It's unbelievable. The fail-safe system didn't activate at all. Is this the work of outsiders? Nope, it's probably your boss. I can't imagine who else it could be, but why? Mayor and Kim are dead. I can't stop coughing. Why won't you answer me? Director Owens, you. It was you all along. Yep. She did it. Hmm. Hey. Go down there. Ooh. Go down there. Ooh. I don't like the sound of that. Come on. There's Ada. I'll find you. Oh yeah, let's use this. And then... Please. Oh, please, stop. No, 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 no. no. If you're interested in nice construction company, not really. Over the past 20 years, we have had the honor to work on the sewers of some of our country's greatest cities, while never losing sight of our two core principles of playfulness and superior industrial design. What does playfulness have to do with sewers? <laughs> At KCC, we believe that just because our work is subterranean doesn't mean our designs have to be subpar. We want crap to flow great. More refined than a queen, more polished than a knight. And as pleasant as a pawn, our work is sure to bring great victory to everyone involved. Yeah, it will help your poop flow. May we all meet on the field someday. Nice kind of blah 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 blah. R. B. Fisher. Spread it. All right. Well, I think that is going to be all the time we got for this video. Um, hopefully, we'll get somewhere. Um, but. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Well, maybe, hold on. Is that where I just came from? Ooh, there's more to view. Pretty sure the rook and the... are all on the same wall, and the bishop and the queen are next to each other. The queen and rook were opposite each other, too. Okay, that's gonna be a puzzle for something. Unlock the do I lost the thing that tells you how to unlock the door, the U area, the last mad dash of a transfer. I know we have to stick to one plug into each terminal, but it, if anyone remembers which plug goes where, please be a pal and share by posting info on the board. Okay, so. Rook. Uh, 
And the pawn. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do this puzzle. And then I'll... Ooh, there's handgun ammo? Ugh. Hide it back there. That's right. Give me all the ammo I want. Uh, never mind. I'm gonna have to go all the way back. So, I think that is all the time I got because I gotta get ready to go to work. That's the only time I really get to record is in the morning when I wake up at four. So, alright, guys. Thanks again for watching, and I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.